Bemidji is moving even closer to opening a new shooting sports park in the future. Jackson Bruner has the latest for us tonight. Load a revolver for me. In Bemidji. And unload. Over 30 people just finished training to become NRA safety officers. The class marks yet another step in getting ready for the opening of the Northland Regional Shooting Sports Park. It means more people are involved. And so it just shows us that there's all aspects of the community that this is reaching out to. The early stages of construction are happening now, about six miles outside of Bemidji and along Highway 89. Of this enormous dirt lot behind me here, over 200 acres will be part of the completed park. The first thing you're going to see as you come in on the right-hand side or looking to the north are trap and skeet range areas. In total, there will be six trap shooting stations and another two areas for skeet shooting. It's an upgrade everyone can use. Our ROTC needs place to shoot, the 4-H has a trap program, uh, the shooting sports park will be a, a venue for the Boy Scouts to shoot, um, so it's a it's a overall thing that's going to benefit all aspects of the community as far as shooting sports. But it's not just for the locals. To have something that size in the central part of Minnesota is is really exciting for us. A change from Bemidji's current trap club became necessary after resource problems. Uh, our footprint shrunk and so we had to eliminate the skeet here. And location concerns became apparent. Once in a while you have a plane that taxis down <laughs> in the same direction that the, that the, the trap shooters are, are shooting and or taxis and takes off the other way. Bemidji High School is one of the club's prominent users and they're excited for the new sports parks opening. It'll allow us to grow in size and allow us to have a place for many, many years. When this thing is going, it's going to be state of the art. It could also prove useful for the Bemidji Trap Invitational, an event that brought 15 Minnesota high schools in for some strong competition last May and could expand to include more once the sports park is done. In Bemidji, Jackson Bruner, Lakeland News. The park will also include handgun and rifle shooting areas on its west end. Faraby says the project should be completed sometime in 2017. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.